next. Now this type of a cleansing is cleansing people through their bowel. If you don't cleanse through the bowel, what's going to happen? Toxins are going to get in the blood. They're going to create all sorts of excitotoxicness. So this type of a cleansing always occurs because you've got to have four bowel movements a day. Can you cleanse if you don't have four bowel? No. Can you cleanse if it's not liquid? No. Your stool has to be liquid. You purposely do things to cause the liquefaction of your stool. And you're getting four liquid bowel movements a day. So this program purposefully creates four liquid bowel movements a day at least. So you might have to advise people to use water, not paper, because they could be using a lot of paper and that can be not friendly on the tissue. But you've got to have at least four bowel movements a day and they've got to be liquid. Could you cleanse if you didn't do four bowel movements a day? No. That's really bad, I'm telling you. When you juice fast and things like that, eventually the bowels might not move at all. And there's no real detoxification. But it happens radically when we can get the bowels moving. Does that make sense? Yeah. All cleansing, unless you get the bowels moving, is no cleansing whatsoever. <laughs> it's just delaying the inevitable. Now, during the 14 days, there was three times which we could actually do a flush. So you bring some oil and some lemon on the fourth day, the eighth and twelfth day. And you have three days to prepare for that fourth day. Um, you, a gallbladder flush is a larger amount of oil and lemon. Liver flushes are just smaller amounts of oil and lemon. Uh, some person who has cancer, for instance, we might have them do liver flushes every fourth, fifth day. So they'll do a smaller amount of oil and lemon every fourth or fifth day, and they do that until they heal up. Uh, gallbladder flushing is a larger amount of oil and lemon. It's like at least 200 mils of oil. Um, so someone like the size of Roger, maybe. You know, Roger might need you know, 250 mils of oil because he's got a bit of height to him. He's a bit taller. But most of us might be able to get by just with a couple hundred mils of oil. But Roger might need 250 really, you know, because he's a bit taller. Um, and their children less, you know. Um, the whole purpose of the liver flushing is that you're going to empty your liver out. And things can flow in there then to be broken down. And vicariously it's possible to empty and get bile stones as well out but maybe not, but you're emptying your liver and the whole process involves you emptying your liver, that's all. And if you could get bile stones, great. But there can be no cell cleansing and no operating, nature's operating table unless you're able to get back proper liver function. We must clear away the bile stones.